So this is our um, new eSports facility. Specifically, this is the um, desk where we will have um, announcers and uh, commentary folks uh, that are going to um, announce for different uh, eSports uh, games that we're going to be hosting here. Um, for the facility itself, I uh, got involved. Um, I'm interested in all sorts of um, streaming technologies. Uh, so I uh, participated in the design of uh, the system that will let us stream uh, the eSports games that are going to go on here. The overall design of the system is actually uh, kind of fairly straightforward. It is not completely um, dissimilar to like your television at home. The system has a set of inputs to it. Um, for us, that is mostly um, cameras uh, into our system, but we also have some computer screens that are gonna play in as well that we'll copy. Um, you have a certain level of processing, um, and you don't see so much of that uh, in uh, your home entertainment system, uh, but uh, devices uh, like computers, uh, for us are used to process or manipulate the video. And we have a set of outputs, um, usually in our home entertainment system, that is like our television uh, or our uh, speakers, uh, if you have a nice sound system. Um, and then there is some measure of control, again, something like our uh, remote control um, uh, for our television. But we've got similar parts um, in our broadcasting system. They're just scaled up uh, to give us more options to work with. Uh, these are two of the cameras that we're planning on using um, in the space. Um, the smaller one is actually the easier one to understand. It's going to sit on the top of a screen um, and be looking at the player. The other camera that we have in our system, um, it has little motors in it that move the camera around. Um, and we'll have a set of presets, for example, that will look at maybe the team as the whole. Or I'm standing here at the announcer's desk as well. We have a camera here uh, that is going to be able to take a view very similar to what you're seeing um, in this. But we'll be able to move these cameras around. Um, but those are two inputs. And the other input um, that we'll have is basically just an output of a computer as well. So processing is the next uh, kind of uh, part of the system. Uh, at the simplest layer, um, we have our PC. Many of us are used to uh, dealing with our PC at home for uh, like joining Teams meetings or WebEx uh, or remote meetings and the like. And it's a similar sort of processing uh, that goes on in these sports. We're taking in uh, cameras and audio and putting them back out on the internet. But we have more complex cameras, so we have some more complexity in the devices that uh, allow us to manipulate or process the video images. So one of those uh, devices is here. Um, this uh, is called a multi-view. Uh, so we'll bring a bunch of cameras into this uh, system and we can feed them back into something of a grid pattern. So if we want to be able to see um, all of the players' uh, faces at the same time, uh, we'll bring them into the multi-view um, and put them together into uh, an array of camera views. Uh, we might produce that here on one of the um, other outputs, one of the televisions that we have here, so that the announcers can see everything that's going on as well. And then when we're interested in getting uh, the images into a computer, we have a set of specialized, um, what we'll refer to as encoder cards that actually go into the PC um, and take similar images or similar streams of information, um, like multi-view, and then we can take and uh, reprocess that information. Generally, once we're done processing it, we will have a completed stre stream. Um, this will look a lot like um, you would see on any sort of sporting event. They'll have um, overlays and scores and announcer scrolls and other uh, pieces of content. Um, and I'm not really a content creation guy, I'm more about the tech. There will be people here that will be interested in specializing in that sort of stuff and we're providing the framework for that to happen. So that is um, inputs, processing and outputs, and then we have some measure of control that we need left. Again, the remote control for this sort of system. Our goal was to be able to have a um, an environment that a single person could operate um, at a very simple level, uh, or we could have a team of students both doing announcing and, and uh, directing uh, and management and be able to produce a more complex stream. But all of that is centered on uh, this customizable remote control, uh, which is called Stream Deck. Um, so each one of these little uh, buttons here is actually a little mini uh, television uh, or computer monitor, and we can customize what these say, 
and what actions that they take in the system. So one button might change where a camera is pointed and a different button might change what the viewers are, are viewing of all of the various pieces of input that are coming into the system. This system will bring in um, a lot more um, complexity or the ability to add complexity, uh, which gives us a better um, product that can be uh, produced. Uh, it's, a, it'll, it's a better framework for a, a, a larger production that can be done or it's a bit more complex than is possible with that whole system.